Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about this situation with the Brad Nikki Gilbert and with the real BB Judy. Now this all stems from Kelly Price being missing. I did a video about her situation. If you have not checked that out, please do. Um, So Nikki Gilbert, which is, she is a former member or she is a member of the group Brownstone. And they had that one song, if you love me, say it. If you son, son, do it. You know, y'all know that song. That's the group she was in. If y'all are not familiar with who um, Nikki Gibbard is, I feel like people know the brat. And the real BB Duty, she's famous for her her hair uh, drops for the edges. You know, for the women who edges fall now, you get your little kaleidoscope, and you know your edges supposed to grow back. Now, let's start from the beginning because I know a lot of people was confused as to why the brat was coming at Nikki Gibbard, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the post that Nikki Gibber put up that made, that rubbed the brat the wrong way. All as well, I just wanted to jump in here real quick to say first, happy Sunday. And second, I have spoken with Kelly Price. She called me last night. Uh, we had a very extensive conversation. I'm not gonna share um, the details right now because I feel like Kelly should speak when she's ready, but um, Kelly is fine. She's not on a ventilator. She's not a hostage. Um, she is healing from COVID. It was indeed Kelly. And um, if you are like me and you're really concerned about her, I hope that this does your heart good to know that our sister is A-OK. -okay. So um, that is all. We're still talking Missing Girls, the BMF premiere. And of course, I'm going to share my thoughts on what I've learned from this situation and how we can all grow and evolve tonight at 1030 on She Speaks Live. The link is in my bio. Um, yeah, but Kelly's good. All right. Peace. So she, Dicky Gibber put out that post on her Instagram, and then she said that she would speak more about it on her podcast or TV show. It's called She Speaks Live. Um, I don't know where it's normally streaming at, but the latest episode that she did, she did put it out on YouTube. Um, so that's why I think these posts kind of rubbed the breath the wrong way. Um, because if you go look at her YouTube or whatever, she doesn't really have a lot of view viewership. And the video that she put out, the latest speaking about, um, well, the second part, speaking about the Kelly Price situation, have like, I think, 8,000, 10,000 views or something like that. And that's the most. She All her other videos is less than 1,000 views on all of them. Like, So I guess that's where DeBrett got the clout chasing thing from. But this is some of the stuff that she said on her first um, video she did about Kelly Price, which was at the end. So that's why the Brad made the comment saying, you waited to the end. Da, 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 da. So I didn't put all of it because this is her content and her, um, this is from her show, but I'm just put a little bit so that y'all can get a gist of what, of how she was speaking on this show. So when she said, come back later on tonight, this is the episode she was speaking on. I said, Nia, I reached out to her and said, just checking in sweetheart you know we're playing some dates that your mom is playing please tell me everything is okay is she okay right nia's response to me was immediate and very serious i'm not going to go into the specific details of that but she said yeah she did go into the pacific well not all the pacific details but she did tell a lot of what their conversation was about she did kind of well she she said she's nia is kelly price's daughter that's 27 she did on the episode speak on speak said that she reached out to kelly price's daughter and was trying to get information about is kelly price okay and she was saying that the daughter was basically saying hey can you call me can we meet up because i don't think you know it's not really good you know and again kelly price said in the previous in her video where she said that she was never missing that um her daughter was manipulated and all this different type of things. But if you assured and told your daughter that everything is okay and et cetera, et cetera, I still don't understand how she was manipulated. Like, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. If you're unsure, that means something ain't right in the, in the can of whatever. But, um, so all of that happened. And I guess when the, the bride got off her little plane ride, she ain't like what she was hearing. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this video. I just popped in to say, make sure you head on over to freedomapparel.com. I have t-shirts, protect your energy t-shirts, it's the melanin t-shirts, and my Freedom Apparel logo t-shirts, and many more. I also have fanny packs, 
And I also have masks to match the t-shirts. If you find anything interesting, the link will be in the description box below. So let's get right back into the video. So the bride did take the social media after she saw, I'm assuming those videos, and she did have something to say about it. It does have some type of weird noise in the background. I don't know what that is. I went back to her page again to make sure it wasn't my video, um, but it's in her video as well. So just try to disregard that and listen to what she has to say. I'm looking at social media. I'm seeing people talk about Kelly and and you know say I have spoken to her and all this bullshit. Like, yeah, a few of us have spoken to Kelly. You know, a few of her real friends and family that she fuck with like that. We've spoken to her. But this is not our fucking battle to speak out or to promote a motherfucking thing. You don't know what's going on in people's lives. You let them tell their story when they get ready. Or if You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if I talk to my friends and something is wrong, they not finna jump on social media or be trying to promote something and use my name. You know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, Kelly is, is okay. And her children know that. And that's the bottom line. So when you heard that she was okay from her children and her attorney, what else the fuck do you want? So just wait for Kelly or whatever she wants to do. I would think that that would be enough, but people got to still keep up shit. And oh, she not this and she not that. I spoke to she. We, a lot of us spoke to her, and she gave me permission to let some of the people know that have reached out to me that she's okay, without going in depth, without discussing what my friend and I discussed, because it's not nobody's business until she gets ready to tell it. And I don't want to be all involved in this shit, but I love Kelly and we communicate, okay? And I'm not finna be like, it, it don't even matter. I'm, I'm just letting y'all know, Kelly's gonna speak to y'all soon. She is okay. But it's up to her to tell you the rest of the story. Please stop with this bullshit. Like, my goodness. I spoke to Kelly, but make sure to watch my show tonight. Bitch. Oh. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not promoting. I, I I'm not promoting. Like, come on. Like, at the, at the expense of somebody's life or health or that, that, that's, that's. And if she didn't give you permission to do that. So petty. Like, you are not a fucking friend when you do shit like that. You just crossed over to the other motherfucking side. Like, that is disrespectful it's disgusting shit all right i gotta get off this shit and i had permission but i ain't said shit but she all right my friend is okay and i ain't got shit to gain from it the shit done pissed me the fuck off i would never want somebody to do me like that Ugh, it's disgusting Shit. Now, I can see some of what the brat was trying was saying. Uh, I think that you know the first video that Nikki did, where she could have just left it at you know I spoke with Kelly. Kelly is okay, you know, just to make just for her fans and you know her well her supporters on the internet who was worried about her and people who was trying to put all these different pieces together etc etc because the story still don't make sense to this day and it didn't make sense then so i can't see that but her going on to her um well she could do what she want to do she's a grown woman she could do what she want to do with her information but i can see the part about her going on to her um her tv show podcast or whatever this is um speaking in detail and saying the the detail of i caught this person i spoke to this person this person that like, i can i can understand that especially when you just let her come out and say whatever she's gonna say and maybe you know you don't want to involve the daughter and involve all these different people and tell all these different things because you just never know you just never know so i can't see where the brat is coming from on that end but also nikki gibbers and uh she just wanted to let the the public know that kelly was okay 
Now, all that extra part at the end where she said, go and listen to what I'm saying the rest on the show, it did kind of look a little weird, but it is what it is. And um, if you listen to the Brad video, the person in the background that was saying and um something about now you want to promote your show and saying kelly is okay but listen to my show tonight at this time promote 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 that was the real bb judy so i'm assuming this is why the woman uh in this video came at the real bb judy because she had said something in the background but because at first i was like how did even how the bride is the one that's doing all the cussing and the talking how did the real bb judy even get dragged up in it but now i guess the crew saw the video that the brat did and they talked about it a little bit on the, another episode of uh nikki gilbert's show and this is the part that made the brat go off and do that other that second video that she did when she said her friend was going too far this is what the friend said you know so again if you can use your platform to peddle hair products if you can use them to pedal, Ooh, um, hmm. to pedal non FDA approved um, fat loss remedies, hmm. but you won't say anything about COVID nineteen, which is also disrupting our communities and our families. Damn. So again, I, I, I'm just saying, <laughs> like Damn. again, feed Twitter, feed Instagram hmm. with with bull, then to say, hey, let me pause for a minute and let me lift up article that I saw about a missing young black boy or a missing young black girl hmm. or article that I saw about a piece of local legislation that passed that's going to hurt my community because uh -huh. all of those things are happening all of the time but you're so busy using your platform again to promote something to make you some more dollars or wow. promote something's making the white man more dollars miss me with getting into Come well on, why Pam. nikki is out here using her platform baby listen really trolls out here Pam, but, let me, but i will say this you, you, <laughs> you talking heavy that's what we do. hey guys i hope you enjoyed this video this is the journal called unleash the image it's give you an opportunity to write about your day just release everything um, a lot of people wear a lot of different hats, especially if you're a parent, you have different businesses, et cetera, et cetera. So I love this journal for that reason. If you like what you see, head over to Amazon, type in Unleash the Image in the search bar, and this will pop up. It's only $14.99, so get you a journal and, you know, relax and meditate. Now let's get back into the video. Um, I can say that. that I don't know why she went straight for the real BB Judy, but the real bb judy's brand should i say um the brat and them did just when they made that video they were just coming back from doing good in the community so i don't even know why she i mean everybody can do what they feel like you know you know their zone is like just because you're going in you're like your thing is saving uh missing children or missing black women or whatever they're doing over there which is great and their their lane is giving back and all giving back in different ways so everybody can give back in different ways everybody do not have to be doing the same thing just because she ain't talking about politics and all that doesn't mean she's not doing any good in the community and i don't know why people do that that other thing she did with that non-fda approved i mean just look at some of the things that is approved by the fda so that's not really a good <laughs> clap back should i say because there's tons of things that is approved that should not be approved so and there's a lot of things that's not approved that's still good for you so yeah she was just trying to go there with, with i don't know what what that was but it is what it is so when the brass saw that oh wait so these are the the weight loss things she was talking about which is good i mean she's still promoting weight loss and getting healthy etc cetera, etc cetera. but we all know that one pill is not taking a pill or weight fat burners or whatever um, that's not going to keep your weight off. That You have to do a whole mental mindset lifestyle change. So, and she was coming after her, her, her hair products, which her hair products, hair is a big thing when it comes to um, how, how that makes somebody feel. If it's making somebody's hair grow back, it is what it is. But, hey, but after the brat saw that, the brat was not having it, and she came back on the Real BB Duties Live. I'm from Mariah.
Since before R&B divas, she used to sing background for Mariah Carey, my best friend, when Tommy Mottola was the president of Sony. We all used to be around each other as kids. So don't do that and say what I don't know. Now, I don't know the conversations you motherfuckers have had with Kelly. You right. I don't know that. But I do know you fell for the okie doke because she ain't talked to her sister in over a year since her mom passed away. But did you know that? But no, y'all so close. Why are you telling the story about what her daughter did and what her daughter said? Like, that is messy. Five miles till messy, bitch. This what you want? Let's do it. I don't even do this petty shit. But tell your friends she ran her mouth too much. Don't come in here disrespecting my baby now. That's a whole different problem. Okay, that's a whole can of worms you don't want to open up. And I commend you. For your platform and what you use it for. But don't lie on people and don't tell people's business. I'm not going to talk about this. But you've been on that motherfucker for 30 minutes talking. You don't want to do this? Yeah, we go way back too. But me and Kelly go way back even before that. And why the fuck anybody bringing up Michael Jackson and the group and the R&B divas and all that? Like, what are you talking about? If you're doing your platform thing, do what you advocating for. You saved it all the way into the motherfucking end so people could listen to what you had to say. And that's all I was saying in my post. I was upset because you talking about Kelly to promote your shit. You telling Kelly's personal business. Kelly called a whole bunch of her friends that fucked with her, that checked on her, that made sure she was okay and didn't stop checking on her. She know who checked on her. So the bread came back with that, and I can see why she was mad about her coming for her fiance. Cause I don't even understand why that she didn't even have to go there. The friend didn't have to go there, and I do understand what she's saying about when you make a post trying to tell the world that Kelly is okay, but then you also say come and watch my show so for more details. So I do understand that aspect of it. Um, after all this went down. And that video dropped early, early in the morning. Uh, the real BB Judy went on her Twitter and Instagram account and basically um, kind of told the public, like, hey, you know, we're still learning. We fell for the okie doke, which is, you know, the bait of social media. Well, not social media, but allowing what other, other people's words, you know, get to you and you responding when you don't necessarily have to. And she spoke about that, and she was saying, you know, that when people speak on her brand, she have something to say. But I didn't watch that whole live of the real BB Judy because I don't think it's saved on her Instagram, and I could not find it. So I don't know what was all said. I don't know if the real BB Judy said something to the girl for coming for her brand or what, but that was the only clip I could find. But, hey, at least they realized that, you know, they don't have to be doing all that. But if somebody speak on your brand or speak on you, whatever, in a negative light, you don't have to address it if you don't want to. Because guess what? That's what they want you to do. They want you to be angry. They want you to be mad. And it is what it is. You don't never let nobody's words affect you to the to the point where you turning red and you're cussing and your blood pressure going up. Because, you know, it takes too much energy to be angry. And as long as you know what you stand for, that's all that really matters. The rest of the people who got something to say negative about you, it is what it is. That's their personal opinion, and they can keep it, they can say it, but it ain't got nothing to do with you. Somebody else's personal opinion of you have nothing to do with you, in a way. But, hey, y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation down in the comments. Uh, who, was, who was right wrong in the situation? Was the brat uh, right for sticking up for her friend, or should everybody just stayed out of it the whole situation is still weird when it comes to the kelly thing because if she caught all these people and all these people knew she was safe i still just don't understand why why it was so hard for people to just say hey y'all kelly ain't missing she cool in the discussion when the when the supporters became involved and people was out you know saying oh look for her doing all this stuff um i don't know you don't have to that's not really telling somebody's personal business like I don't see why Kelly Price couldn't give them the okay to say, y'all can let the world know that I'm okay. Y'all don't, like, you know, they don't have to go into detail about, I spoke to her, but we talked about this, this, and this. Just say she okay in the discussion. But I can say that I never knew if the daughter officially said that she was okay or not because it was, they were saying that those, that those statements wasn't true because nobody even, the daughter never said, like, 
I don't know where who talks to the daughter to get an answer. Like, I don't really know where all this stuff is coming from. But I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation down in the comment section. And that's all I got to say about it. I'm out.